In the previous video, we have created the car navigator script. Now, in this video, we will create the car waypoint navigator script in which we will assign the next waypoint to our car AI. So, right here in the car AI folder, let's create a new C sharp script by the name of car navigator, or we can change this to car waypoint navigator because we already have the car navigator script right here name this as car waypoint navigator then let's just simply open this in the visual studio code then right here let's remove the start and update function and at the top we will add a header by the name of car ai and in here we will be needing a reference to our car navigator script and then to the waypoint or you can say the current waypoint of the car so let's say public car navigator let's name this as car then we need a reference to our current waypoint we will say public waypoint and we will name this as current waypoint then let's create a awake function in which we will set the car to the car navigator script so we will say get component the component will be the car navigator script after this we will create a start function right here we will say car dot locate destination then we will say current waypoint dot get position and guys this is the same code which we did for the waypoint navigator script which was for the ai character so this is same as that one so we don't have to explain many things right here now in the update function we will say that if the car dot destination reached if we open up the car navigator script right here you will notice that we have this destination reached variable okay so right here we will say that if the car dot destination reached it means that if the car reaches one of the destinations then we will assign the next destination so for assigning the next destination we will say current waypoint equals to current waypoint dot next waypoint then right down below we will say car dot locate destination and the destination will be the current waypoint dot get position and that is it so now after the car waypoint navigator script let's save it and if you check our car navigator script as you can see its name is car navigator script so we will copy that from there and right here as i told you we need a reference to our car navigator script only not the car waypoint navigator because we are on the car navigator script okay so right here change this to car navigator script and write down below right here as well car navigator script and once you did that get back to unity then click on the car ai and let's drag and drop the car waypoint navigator script right here let's move it up there now right here let me change this to 400 the turning speed of this car then we, it needs a sensor so inside the car ai let's create a new empty game object by the name of sensor then let's move right here here it is as you can see this is the sensor let me move it outside and let me move it a little bit up right there
okay so you can put your sensor in this position like this as well and once you set the position of the sensor then just simply drag and drop the sensor in there and right here it needs the player so drag and drop the player game object it will automatically select the player script from it then right here it needs car navigator script so drag and drop that then it needs the current waypoint for now we didn't create the waypoints for our car ai so let's just do that as well right here we will create an empty game object by the name of car waypoints and let me check it okay it is not on the ground so let me move it to the ground down below and once it is on the ground then let's click on the waypoint editor tool and drag and drop this waypoint origin it is the waypoint origin which is basically this car waypoints okay so once you added that let's click on create waypoint let's turn on the gizmos and as you can see it has created a new waypoint right here as you can see let's make the waypoint width as 3 then let's click on create waypoint again let's move it right there and make the waypoint width of it as 3 and as you can see they are connected which with each other okay so now in this way we will add all of the waypoints around the map in order for the car to move around in the map okay so let me simply do that Right here guys create as many as waypoints as you can because this bridge goes from downwards in the upward direction so create as many as waypoints as you can and then place them appropriately as you can see right here and make sure that the width of each of the waypoint is 3.
right here create as many as wave point as well because we will be going down this bridge slope so create more and more waypoints and make sure that make waypoints just fits this area as you can see and when these waypoints will be completed then i will make the width of it of each of the waypoint as three for now let me just create all of the waypoints so when you create all of the waypoints for the car ai as you can see i have covered almost all of the map as you can see and the bridge as well once all of that is done then just focus on the last waypoint which is which you create for example in my case it is this waypoint 56 let's connect this waypoint 56 to our waypoint one so let's select the waypoint zero actually and drag and drop the waypoint 56 as the previous okay and then click on waypoint 56 and let's assign the next waypoint that is the waypoint zero so now as you can see they are now connected with each other if you move the car at this side as you can see here it is they are connected with each other now what we will do we will assign the waypoint zero as the current waypoint for our vehicle okay let me move the vehicle back there then let me focus on the vehicle let's click on the box collider and let's move the box collider of this vehicle up there that's it now let me turn off the gizmos let me clear up the console and now let's just play the game and when the game is being played change to the scene view and you will notice the vehicle is moving right there as you can see but the vehicle is inside the ground we don't want that as you can see so just stop the game get back to the vehicle and let's edit the box collider of it like this then let's play it again change to the scene view and now let's see how the vehicle rides as you can see now the vehicle is moving perfectly fine let me follow up the vehicle and see how the vehicle follows all of the paths or you can say the waypoints as you can see there it is As you can see the vehicle is not moving fine right here on the bridge so we need to move the waypoints a little bit upwards as you can see the vehicle can't move correctly on that waypoints let's check it more further when the vehicle will be going down right here
to wait right here as you can see the vehicle is moving perfectly fine okay so now as you can see the vehicle is moving again let's follow it as you can see there it is there is the vehicle now let me just pause the game again let's focus up on the waypoints right here on the bridge let's turn on the gizmos and guys let me tell you again that create more and more waypoints right here so that the vehicle can move perfectly fine right here okay so let me move it a little bit up there let's move the next one as well like that let's select the other one move it a little bit upwards and this one as well now let me move this other one as well so if you have the same issue as mine then try to moving your waypoints a little bit upwards as you can see so now let me turn on the gizmos again and let me play the game in the vehicle when the vehicle reaches this point i will show you how the vehicle will move now so you can just move the waypoints a little bit in the upward direction and then that will fix your issue but now i will just leave this like this because i hope that now you guys learn how to create waypoints and how to move a vehicle inside that waypoints and with this done i will catch you guys in the next one